guys right now we are in Photoshop here and uh, this is the original project file we did uh, for a French client these are actually uh, student houses so uh, dormitory right and uh, we got here some uh, foggy scene which has been created fully in Photoshop so that's the ZDF channel I have used to create this book and uh, build that. And that's the original image I had from previous Max. So we can start to take care of the fog painting. By the way, it's uh, really recommended that you use a pen tablet. You know, uh, that of course you can do that with your mouse, but still, when you have a pen tablet, then you can be much more accurate and. Uh, paint with a better feeling. Um, what we need to do first is to create uh, a channel using the ZDEV channel. So first I will copy the layer, go to image, calculations and we choose the DAV channel. I set it to normal, so you will see the result. between normal and multiply so I set that to normal and hit OK now we have our channel and uh, that's one thing what we need to do the second thing what we also can do is to copy the ZDEV channel so press CTRL and click on the layer CTRL C and CTRL PASTE and what we can do now is to change the transfer mode so we have the screen and now all the black color colors have been uh, uh, key out but uh, basically we want the fog to have in the background not in the foreground so we need to invert the layer so press ctrl i and now we have a nice fog effect but it's a bit too strong so we can apply some adjustments to the layer so you can go to image adjustment and for example curves or you can use uh, control M keyboard shortcut and uh, now what we can do is we can darken a bit the ZDEF channel to make the fog a bit less visible and we can lower the opacity also now what we can do is uh, we can add a new layer one more time paste invert screen we'll use that later and uh, now we'll start to paint on this layer so I will choose a black color uh, choose the brush pressing B on keyboard or right here from the menu and uh, I have here some brushes I should have I will load them in a few seconds uh, that are simulating some uh, kind of smoky shapes but first I will choose a soft brush and maybe I'll just start to paint with the sky black color so lower a bit the fog effect now we'll add another mask it with black color and we'll start to paint again so we're here in the front just a little bit okay that's not bad so it's time to uh, load some uh, smoke brushes and you can load the brushes right here using the 
load brushes. I already have some here in the scene. So I will choose maybe this brush and uh, I will just make the size a bit smaller and we'll start to paint with black color here somewhere on the top oh, it's too hot maybe let's take a different one uh, this one yeah a bit better neighbor is just grilling here on the left side and basically got the idea of the whole process so we are almost done it's pretty easy and uh, also gives a lot of fun to, to paint with of course uh, Probably on the original file, I have spent like uh, one hour to, to tweak the, uh, the foggy effect and uh, find the final result, but that's pretty much the idea. Okay, so uh, that's the first exterior scene with the fog implemented in Photoshop. And uh, we have in the very beginning uh, seen the library with. Uh, uh, V-Ray environment fog and light streaks produced by, by V-Ray Sun and right now I would like to open the next Photoshop project and recreate this effect using basic tools in Photoshop so stay tuned and I see you in the next section